Hello, this is You Should Be Writing episode nine? I think so. Should I sing the theme song? No, I think people wouldn't appreciate that. We'd probably wow. lose the one listener we have. <laughs> and that'd be me. All right. Um, so I'm John Loxton. That's Ben Zakheim. We have stuff to talk about today, including the audio uh, work that Ben has been working on. Um, also, some Facebook ad stuff, part nine. Um, let's see. We also have. Um, up viral, which is new, and um, there was one more thing. What was it? Um, I didn't read your list. You just sent it to me. My list. Why would you read my list? Tripwire, uh, tripwire pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that. that All right, cool. so I'm going to shut up, and I'm probably going to yawn a lot because Ben is boring. No, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably yawn a lot simply because I'm exhausted. But um, sorry about that, Ben. It's nothing to do with well, being boring. No, I'm in. I'm in execution mode. That's not exactly the most, you know, exciting thing to talk about. But uh, so working on the audiobook for the Camelot Kids. Um, uh, have Kathy Chalfont uh, doing the voice for it. It's a, um, she's the actress who was in uh, House of Cards. Um, she was in Law and Order a lot. Um, one of those faces that you see um, and you recognize. And she's also been on Broadway and off Broadway. In Angels of America and Wit, she was actually the first uh, actress to be in Wit and make that a big phenomenon. So she's really good. She's just like listening to my story being told by, you know, a classically trained, um, you know, thespian is a little bit intimidating, but it's a lot of fun. I'm getting used to it. I finally like we're on day four, and I'm there just to be the author. There's a director as well, Jessica Kay, who's fantastic. Um, and uh, um, I'm just there to kind of give my two cents and, <laughs> and correct things. And I finally got the guts to you know, poke my head in and go, um, maybe try to say it this way. So it's a little intimidating to do it, but it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, so we, <laughs> we're going a little bit on the slow side, but that's fine. It's a... Um, you know, for Kathy and I, it's or for me really, it's it's uh, not something I'm used to. She's done. She did Hillary Clinton's nonfiction book, which is even bigger than the Camelot Kids. But she's kind of new to audiobooks too, so we're we're learning. Um, so we're about probably about a quarter of the way through after four days, and we'll probably pick it up. What? So, uh -oh. just out of curiosity, can oh, Hillary God. Clinton, can Hillary Clinton really do a non? fiction book <laughs> <laughs> does she even write it that's really the, the main the main question don't don't start getting into politics now please All oh, right. god just watch oh, that, fox, that, that that did. fox debate last night oh god anyway um so yeah now my brain is totally distracted by reality i like to live in fantasy john not reality um so <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah. All right, so, um, but it's it's um, the the production. I'm actually doing the cleanup stuff, which is really interesting. I'm using on for me, it is. I'm actually having a good time cleaning up the audio. Um, I'm going to hand it off to an editor to do the the hard work, but I'm kind of cleaning it up and using Audacity, which is the uh, free freeware audio uh, software editing software. Super super simple to use. I mean, that stuff is just like, uh, and, and it's like. It, it's the, it thinks the way I think and there's nothing it's like a word processor for sound <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cut and paste and move stuff around and it's just super simple I love it I see you shaking your head so finally we agree on on something oh I use I use it all the time I mean I use it for not yeah. just that but I use it for uh, music and everything else audacity is awesome yeah yeah so I'm really happy about that if you're thinking about doing an audiobook definitely look into audacity especially if you're kind of you know doing it on a budget uh, like I am so uh, things are going well I I would imagine we'll be done a week you know by a week from now but you know we'll see um, that we're working through the weekend we're putting in more hours over the weekend than we are uh, during the weekdays so I'm hopeful uh, but you know this is the kind of stuff that doing telling the story in multiple media um, uh, is really really important. Um, it's it's to me it's it's a form of marketing in the sense that it gets the um, it gives me an opportunity to get more press around 
um, uh, the project and to show it to a new audience and to have it available to an audience that otherwise might not find it. So oh, especially, sure. you know, especially with the uh, Kathy being an exactly. actor that I can I can push. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So that's it for me. Oh, that's awesome. So, I mean, well, you're sitting there saying, you know, oh, use Audacity, especially if you're on a budget like me, even though I have like a famous actress doing it, but still. <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. I mean, she's, she's very accomplished and yes, it's, it's nice to uh, have really uh, talented relatives. It's basically <laughs> what it comes down to. That's what all my relatives say. Yeah. <laughs> and you showed, and you showed your good side. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what? Anyway, um, cool. Well, no, that's great, man. So, what are you finding is the biggest challenge? Um, it's probably hearing my words come out of the mouth of somebody else. <laughs> Be like, oh my god, you know. I mean, I'm pretty good. One one of the few things that. Um, in the reviews I agree with, like positive or negative, I can be impartial, is that word selection is one of my strengths in that I don't tend, you don't tend to see the same word, you know, within yeah. the same paragraph. I just, I've got a really, I really keep my eye on that stuff. And so, but even with that, there have been a couple and they're embarrassing. Um, and I think that, you know, over the, that we've done about 150 pages so far, 130 pages. And, um, uh, there have been a couple. Of, yeah, you're not yeah. going to get done by next week. <laughs> All right, no, no, we're picking it up. We're picking it up. We did really well today. We went from like, yeah, we did, we did really well today. Um, but um, you know, I've lost I, my I, just, I just see you like read. You guys read like ten pages, and then you watch the view for like. <laughs> yeah, hours. you know, chill. Have a little martini. Yeah. But no, it's it's just uh, trying to work around everybody's schedule. It's been a little bit. Tough. So what's been the most positive experience out of this working with Kathy I've been I've been wanting to work with her for for decades now um, actually when I first got out of college you know I went into film and I was gonna write movies and I did but I didn't ever write anything that she could be in but I always wanted to I always had something for her in everything I wrote oh, cool. and uh, yeah so that's the best thing definitely uh, sweet sweet yeah so as somebody who is um, working with a voice actor as opposed mm -hmm. to doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. well, what is one tip that you would say um, is, you know, like, yeah. like if I were to be working with someone else on it and I wanted to make sure that my voice was coming through my writing through that mm -hmm. person's actual voice, mm -hmm. what do you do? Well, um, you put on your absolute best diplomatic hat, um, what, however kind you can possibly be, put, be that kind. Um, I think that, um, when you're working with somebody who's trying to get to the essence of what you're trying to say and what their story is about, the more you connect and the more trust there is between you, I think the better. Um, I've, um, for me personally, the way I'm I'm handling the process is that it's it's tough to start and it takes a while to ramp it up. Mm -hmm. And once you start getting to that point where that trust is is established. It gets it starts getting much easier, and and she's really just like reading my mind at this point, and and gets what I'm saying. But you've got to give, along with that trust, you've got to get have the patience to let her ramp up, let the mistakes get made, don't get frustrated by them, understand that you can do a lot in post, understand that the first three chapters probably should just be written off because you're going to have to go back and do them again once you really start getting a sense of the characters and she starts getting a good sense of the characters. So just kind of assume that you're going to go back and do those again anyway, and that'll give you a little bit of breathing room to go, okay, let's just get through this, and then to come chapter four or five, we'll be hitting the groove, and then after we're done, we'll probably have to go back and do some pickups. So, so it's not necessarily how... Well, I mean, I understand it. you have to be diplomatic. It's how you speak with somebody and so on and so forth. But I mean, yeah. it's not necessarily, you know, being positive, like, and, and going, guess, wow, you really suck. I mean, that's yeah, not going to yeah. work. No, that's not going to work. You have to diplomacy in the sense of, um, you know, I was thinking more along the line, you know, saying something like, I, th I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, the, the bad guy and, you know, that movie or something that just kind of gives them some reference point. 
Okay, um, so so you're you're basically directing to a point. You're you're kind of mm-hmm. helping them out uh, to figure it out, and and you're trying to work um, as a team, not as a I'm yeah. in charge. Just do it this way, which yeah. makes sense anyway, no matter where you work. I would say, but um, yeah. okay. it's worth repeating just because you know it's sometimes, especially when we're dealing with our own stuff, it's easy to get caught up in our ego. Yeah, you know, so. and eventually, I guess you have to look at it as, look, I had to bring this person in because I can't do it. Um, mm-hmm. To the degree I need to, that's why I'm having them here. So I have to let right. them have some freedom to go. If, if it's yeah. just speaking let them do like me, then why don't you? Yeah. So. yeah, exactly. Let them do their job and let them interpret stuff that you didn't realize was there because there's a lot yeah. of yeah. You you might be pleasantly surprised, and and, and yeah. if something you know you might be like, wow, that sounds great. Yeah, just do that. Yeah. That's awesome. I hadn't thought of that. But then if something right. doesn't, you also have to be equally, look, you know, you did great on these two characters, but this one, I'm just not buying it. You got to change that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. That, that way, that way you're kind of saying, hey, I gave you a lot of kudos for all the stuff you did come up with, but I have a problem <laughs> with this. That's, that's, what, that's what the dynamic has been. Good. There's been a lot of give and take. So, yeah. Cool. yeah, I'm happy. Knock on wood. Yeah, congrats, man. That's great. Good news. Thank you. Face Facebook. Do you want to start with uh, Facebook or Tripwire? Or? All right. Let's let's uh, actually let's start with um, Up Viral. Um, I'm gonna make sure I got that name right because Up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna up like Viral. Name. It yeah, sounds like viral. a rectal okay. disease. Yeah. What is up, what is Up it's Viral? Unfortunately named. Yeah. Uh, but here's the the situation for Up Viral. I actually got a. Um, Ping by by another author who said, "Hey, you know, I've been thinking about checking this thing out. They're having a sale. It's upviral.com, by the way, u p v i r a l dot com. Um, and the idea is simply this: uh, a person comes to well, you can run contests, you can do all this kind of stuff. It's kind of interesting. So let's just say that you want. Um, all right, so a person comes to my site, they sign up for my newsletter, and I have up viral integrated." What ends up happening is they go through the whole process of my newsletter. They do that whole thing. But when they get to the success page, um, we're going to talk tripwire here in a second too. But when they get to the success page, what happens is it'll say, hey, if you'd like to, um, you know, kind of earn or win, whatever you want to say, a free Mm -hmm. copy of Warped Conduit, um, all you have to do is get five people to sign up. For my newsletter, oh, and I see. Then, and and it gives you a link that mm-hmm. you copy and you paste in Twitter and Facebook and so on. Every time a person signs up, you get an email that says, "Hey, a person signed up. You're only four people away from getting that free book you were looking for." Mm-hmm. And so they go, "Oh, well, I'm going to share it again. I'm going to share it again." And then mm-hmm. finally, they get the the fifth person, and boom, mm-hmm. uh, they get an email mm-hmm. that says, "Here's your free book." Mm-hmm. Um, and so the idea is that, uh, you know, it allows you to get viral marketing, hence Mm -hmm. viral. Um, so they allow you to get, uh, viral marketing that way. And, um, one this one uh, particular author I'm talking about has tried it, uh, via Twitter actually. Oh, Oh, that's cool. Try it via Twitter. Uh, you can, it doesn't matter where you come in from. So you try it via Twitter and, um, had five signups in, five minutes to his because <laughs> one person okay. signed up. Yeah, one yeah. person signed up and then wow. boom, Passed the yeah, sign ups. And wow. since then, um, uh, I think he said it's gone up. It was like over an hour to like 20, something like that. Jeez. Um, wow. so, so my point is this, is that if they're coming in and I'm, I'm paying for it and I, I get 20 people to sign up that I'm paying for and from that, you know, 10 and then five. And then, you know, I end up with 50 people off of 20 yeah. and only paying for 20 score. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, yeah. I, I just got it today. I haven't had much time to really dive into it. Um, That's pretty cool. I, haven't, I haven't connected it. Uh, I was actually thinking about just coding it myself, but then I thought I was, I I was going to say, I can see this being something that you build. So yeah, the problem yeah. is, is that if you want to get the kit, what's well, $37 a month or wow. a something like a year but if you want to get it like now uh, they're they're doing a special on it and it's 297 lifetime so you can okay. use it 
for whatever you want, for as long as you want, all upgrades, everything well, is included. For, for as long as they're around. Yeah, which well, is, no, they've been around a long time. He's got multiple right. products, not just this one. Okay. This is their most ambitious product, but he has multiple products besides this one. So all right. uh, they have been around a while. All right. um, okay, so there's that. Cool. Uh, moving on. Thanks. We'll talk about, yep, we'll talk about uh, tripwire pages. Um, this is something that we kind of learned a little bit uh, from uh, listening to uh, Mark Dawson and Nick Stevenson have a conversation. Uh -huh. So I decided to implement it as quickly as I could and uh, to see what would happen. Uh -huh. So what a tripwire page is, simply this. Uh, they call it the got fries with that kind of thing. So a person shows up at my website. Um, let's say I, I do a Facebook ad. They show up at my website. They put in their name. It goes through the process, the MailChimp thing, all that stuff. By the time it's done, they've confirmed. Once they click confirm in their email because of the opt-in thing that you got to do, it comes back to my success page, and on my success page, it says the, the, the user goes back, the customer goes back to that page. Yeah, as a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you to my success page so that way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Uh, all right. Make sure I don't have anything untoward open. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, you're not. That's, that's really the problem. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, okay. let me do a share here real quick. Be careful, please. Yeah. Well, if anything happens, sorry. All right, let's see. What, what the heck? Where is it? Um, oh, is that it? Okay, I think this is it. I hope. Otherwise, sorry. Okay. Are you seeing my um, screen? I'm seeing a big black screen with your mouse moving over the big black screen. Really? Yeah. Huh. There's All nothing right. showing. Okay. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Let me try that one more time. Okay. No, that's weird. It's still doing that. Okay. Uh, let me shut down Chrome real quick and then bring it back up again. Don't shut down our Hangout. Oh, yeah. Good point. Hopefully I didn't. No, we're still here. Okay, hold on. No, nope. okay, well, it's not going to work. Aww. All right. Well, anyways, um, so the, the basically the idea is this. You get to the, su the success page, yeah. and it uh, I can at least read you some of the text real quick. It basically shows a picture of a book bundle that I'm selling right now. And it says, thank you for your interest in these fun stories. And then it says success in big red letters. You're all signed up, and the details for getting the free books is on the way to your inbox right now. While you're waiting, why not take advantage of this special offer and start building your collection? For a limited time, get the 10 book comedy, fantasy, blah, 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 for 50% off. And then you basically give links to like the various places that they can buy the stuff. And then you put some reviews from the books and all that kind of stuff in there. And that's it. So the idea is, as they put it, you went into McDonald's, uh, you ordered a cheeseburger, and you said that's all you were planning to buy was the cheeseburger. But then somebody says, do you want fries with that? And you're just like, uh -huh. oh, yeah. It doesn't feel like you're being sold to. It's just it's like, hey, while you're waiting, uh -huh. you know, yeah. check this out. Uh -huh. So anyhow, um, I uh, said, you know, what do I got to lose? I'll, I'll go ahead and put that in there. So I did. Uh -huh. And um, so far, the Tripwire sales, uh, this I put it in there Wednesday night. What is it? Was it Wednesday? Today's Friday, right? Yeah. Yes. So, so it was Wednesday. Two days ago? Yeah. So um, on Wednesday night, um, I had one sale from the Tripwire page. So um, basically, it was a U.S. sale also, which means that I got uh, about a $6.50 uh, royalty on that. Cool. Um, and then um, Thursday was where I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start putting some money back in towards mailing list stuff because uh, I had kind of paused it for a while. So I put, uh, you know, $20 in. That was it. I just want to see what happened. Um, and I ended up selling five bundles from the Tripwire page, Damn. Um, which is 30 bucks. So I made $10 yeah. Yeah. On, on that, right? And so today I said, Wait, all how right, do you, well, how man, do you get the $10? Because it was $20 spend. $20 spend, $30. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Anyway, and so today I I did a 
I went a little crazy. I said, all right, let me try something. So I put $25 to US, $50 to UK for signups okay. only, right? And um, so far, uh, the 25 to the US, I have sold um, four copies, so I'm a dollar under. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm actually over. It's not six dollars. It's like six seventy or something that I make. So I am over. Mm -hmm. um, and on the UK, um, I, I don't know how many of them actually came from the bundle yet. I won't know that until my affiliate codes come in tomorrow. Oh. Uh, but I can tell you on the redirector code that I have um, that. Hold on, sorry. Since I closed everything, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, tripwire. Okay, so uh, it's had. Uh, it looks like it's had at least six hits today on that. Okay. Um, right. So it's probably going to be a little underwater. But remember, I'm, I'm also trying to build my list. So yeah, this is exactly. just. It's not like I'm gonna. I'm not so much worried about making more um, on the tripwire sales than I'm spending on the acquisition of the customer. Mm -hmm. What I'm really doing is saying, let me help subsidize that cost. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you can make even a few, you know, a little few dents in it, that's exactly found, one. On found money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's six bucks less that you're spending on Facebook, you know, correct. Yeah. Correct. So um, anyway, but uh, you know, you got to make sure that you're putting in your no. affiliate codes and all that kind of stuff because that's how you're going to be able to track stuff. You're not going to be able to track stuff very easily otherwise. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to just quickly we need to make an entire episode on affiliate codes because okay. I have I have some pointers and observations and I'm sure you do too. Sure. Yep. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, okay. okay. So now let's talk a little bit about that thing called Facebook. Oh yeah, heard of it. Well, all right. So first off, I was totally wrong last week when I said, wow. um, you know, you can't do uh, time frame stuff and everything else. I, yeah. I'm not going to say I was totally wrong. I was wrong when Is I said new? you can't do them. But mm -hmm. what I'm not wrong about, or well, it, they're not easy to do, and and actually mm -hmm. it can be somewhat of a pain in the ass. I ended up actually talking with uh, Facebook ad sales today. Um, mm -hmm. So I was on the phone with them, and uh, you know they were trying to get me to to join this uh, Facebook Go because I've been spending a good amount of money on this thing, and I may I'm I'm planning to do it, but I'm not going to do it anytime soon because they require you to do a 25 a day spend, mm -hmm. and you have to have consistently 25 dollars a day for an entire month. And I'm going, mm -hmm. yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't. I, I, on Saturday, I want to spend 200 dollars if I'm getting an ROI of 100. 50%. I don't want to be they stuck limit at 25. You. They um, limit you to 25? They, they want you to stay at 25 for at least a week so they can really kind of get a feel. And they said, but you can do other ads. And I'm like, well, yeah, if I had that kind of freaking money, sure. You know, um, but, uh, you know, so basically I have to um, commit to $750 for that month. And then what they do is they'll go through and they'll hold your hand, show you how to do the ads, show you how to target show you how to do all that kind of stuff. And then after a week of that onboarding process, they hand you to someone else. And that person is, how do you handle the statistics? How do you make sure that everything is set up, you know, the best way? And then how do you tweak, tweak, tweak until you can target? How do you do A-B testing? How do you do all that kind uh -huh. of stuff? And one of the most important things, um, actually two really important things, um, is requires that you put a pixel on your page and for people who don't know what that means it's basically a um, uh, it's a unique identifier that's on your page you call it a pixel because it's actually an image but you don't see it but when it loads that that image it's an image tag that image actually calls a back-end server somewhere which would be Facebook in this case with your specific code so it can say ah a person got here from when they clicked on your link so you're on Facebook you click a link you come to my site you fill out all the information you go to MailChimp when you get to my success page I have a pixel on that page that notifies Facebook that the cycle has been complete which means that you have clicked and completely converted which means you were a successful click for me now I might get a hundred clicks and only 10 people actually get to the pixel page, which means only 10 people signed up, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the point of the pixel. Now, why is that important? It's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know who signed up, you know how many people out of your uh, uh, clicks actually converted. So that'll help you determine whether the cost of your, to acquire each customer is worth it. 
Mm -hmm. um, the second thing it, that it does is it allows you to build what's called a lookalike audience. Um, so you can basically see all the people who have been signing up and then from there they kind of can take that information and they can go out and build another audience for you that has similar interest to all the people who actually converted for you. Uh -huh. So that's cool. And then the third thing it does is you can do a redirect, uh, not, not a redirect, a, um, oh crap, I forget the word. Um, anyway, it's, it, the idea is, is that you can remarket to them. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. If they didn't, <clears throat> if they showed interest and clicked on it, but didn't convert. No, even they, if they do convert. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it raises your potential with that particular customer because mm -hmm. um, they've already bought from you or they've already trusted in you once. And since mm -hmm. they did, then when you go to, let's say, do your next bundle, you have that information. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know? yeah. yeah. So now I can actually do a pixel anyway, sort of. Um, actually, I'm not sure I could do that. I'll have to think about it. But um, uh, where you can't do a pixel is this. If I just sell a bundle uh, from Facebook, when you click shop now, it goes to, to Amazon, Amazon yeah, or Kobo or whatever. put a pixel on an Amazon page, nope. right? Nope. So there's no way for me to know if um, yeah. if you purchased or, or what have you. But <clears throat> what I'm hoping to be able to do is in my redirector code, somehow trigger back. I'm not sure how that's going to work though, but I, I'll look into it. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, so I talked with them. Uh, went through all that kind of stuff uh, with them and yep. but I ran into the same problem and here's the problem if I try to target oh they gave me a piece of advice uh, or, or a piece of information and I, I knew this was right if you're getting traction on anything uh, through ads on Facebook for the, the duration of your time of today right whatever today is for you okay. um, in your time zone um, don't change anything don't, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. say if you're at $20 and you're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting, you know, 120% ROI. I've got to go change. I got to spend a hundred dollars today. Oh my God. So, so they're even advising that you don't change the spend. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand not changing the creative, not changing the time duration, et cetera, but they don't, they're, you're, they're even recommending that you don't increase the spend. So you, if you change your creative, you lose your likes, your yeah. shares, you lose yeah, all that's, that. Uh, yeah. Right, but if you change your spend, as he put it, our mm. algorithms restart. Oh boy! Yeah, and I'm like, really? That is so lame. And he mm. was just like, Yeah. I said, I mean, I hope somebody's thinking to fix that because think about it. If I'm yeah. seeing a twenty dollar spend and I'm getting a ridiculous ROI, I'm immediately going to want to put it to a hundred. And if I do that, and then I'm tanking because your algorithms fix them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so be warned about that. He actually said yeah. that and, I, and he says now it will stabilize itself, but it can take a few hours for that to happen. So if you're riding a wave, stay on the ride, wave. It, ride it. And then, and then when the spend is over, just have another, have more money for that, for that, for the next day. And then the unit, that ad unit. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's one, uh, a little piece of advice there, but, um, okay. So, the problem I had again from last week was how do I target between certain time during the day and a certain time during the day, UK time, especially since my account is set up in California time, which is eh. mm -hmm. so you can do it. Um, what you do is you select a lifetime budget. Okay. Uh, you set an end date and then you put in what your lifetime budget is and it will calculate sort of, uh, over the course of that time how much you can spend and then you get like this little thing where you can say I want to spend at specific times during the day Okay, and it says it will spend to whatever your target audience is at now <clears throat> Here's the problem with that if you target the US and the UK how yeah. Yeah. And if you target the US where so you really yeah. have to pinpoint what you're doing so when I target the UK for example, I know that there's you know they're they're pretty much all in the same I know it's a little off, but it's close, and, mm -hmm. and I'm cool with it. So I can target from 8 a.m. until midnight their time, which is great. Yeah. Um, and I can I can also do it this way. I can say, you know what, Monday through Friday, mm, let's do 6 p.m. to 11, and then Saturday we'll do. You know that you can do that. How many time zones do they have? Are they just in one time zone? 
right. I don't have any idea. Um, Look, we have we have three, so that's one of the challenges of yeah, <laughs> doing exactly. you know hitting hitting yeah, peaks just, just in our wide. country. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So all right. So um. Yeah, but I I don't I honestly okay. don't know. All right, but all right. I, I doubt it's three hours difference like it is yeah. here. So. No, no. Um. Anyhow, so you can do that. Here's the problem. The problem is that you can't. I, I actually said it to say, okay, it ends at midnight. You have to do it this way. It ends at midnight Pacific time because that's what my account That's what your account's in, yeah. And I want to spend $100 today. And so I set it to $100. So it doesn't start until 3 a.m. So, of course, I can't see anything until then. And it says, okay, you're all set to go. I'm like, sweet, this is awesome. Yay, everything else. So I wake up this morning. I'm getting no sales, hmm. nothing, wow. and I'm going, what the? And so I look at it, and it's saying that it's spending, and I'm like, what it's, the hell? And first yeah. off, I had set it to a hundred dollars. It says that it's going to cap out at fifty-two dollars today. I'm like, why? Well, it's been a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, because you can't just tell it today. I want to spend a hundred dollars. You got to do the stupid lifetime crap. Just, just today. Uh... Now, now. I can say what my daily spend is, which is today, but then I can't target it. Really? Oh, okay. Right. So yeah. I'm talking to the guy and I'm just like, this is dumb. You know, I mean, I, I want to be able to target today at, at certain times and everything else. And I want to spend $100 today. How do I do that? Uh, let me pass you over to somebody else. <laughs> so that person uh, passed me over and, and they didn't, they basically said what I already know. And so, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. They were extremely nice. It wasn't like that. Sure, sure. It was just, ah, right? Yeah. So um, anyhow, what I finally did is I just said, all right, let me look at my numbers. Let's, let's see what's going on. And by this time, I'd already spent 50 bucks, okay? Mm -hmm. And it was at $52. Yeah. And this was at like, you know, uh, right around lunchtime because I took my lunch break to talk to them. And at 50 mm -hmm. bucks, and it's like 12. And I'm supposed yeah. to, be, yeah. uh, you know, I'm like, what the hell? So anyway. Yeah. Um, so I said, all right, I, I think I had like three sales and I spent $50. I mean, that's just, that's awful. So I said, okay, um, let me, uh, I'm just going to stop this. I'm going to just do, go back to what I did before. And since sure. I've already spent 50 bucks, I'll just put in another 25 to $75 for the UK spend. And I'm just going to go daily and I'm just going to go back to it. It says, oh, it'll take 30 minutes and so on and so forth to do that. Since doing that. I've had nine sales. Yeah, I mean, it's to follow your own stuff. Don't follow Facebooks. Well, well, yeah. here's my here's my point. My point is is that they spent fifty bucks today. Yeah. I don't know what the hell they use as their algorithm because I have the exact yeah. same targeting. Yeah. But they yeah. they spent fifty dollars today and I didn't make shit. Yeah, because you're in that other silo over there. <laughs> you know, exactly. You know, doing and the so day. I'm just like. Target, they're targeting the day or the lifetime budget or whatever the hell. I, I don't know what was is. going on. All I know uh, is that if I had said a daily spend of fifty dollars, I probably would have made eighty. Uh, uh -huh. But instead, I think I made like twelve or fifteen dollars. Uh, uh -huh. So I lost like thirty-five dollars on this experiment today. Uh, uh -huh. you know, sitting there doing that, and I'm just going. I mean, I'm yeah. hoping that I can I can get back to breaking even by the end of the day because usually I'm over, but. Still, it was just like, come on. Yeah, really. So anyway, no, I don't know. that one. Don't use it. Just go back to your right. Exactly. Your so don't do that. Yeah. It's bad. But it does. But it does take. I mean, you know, that experience that you had with seeing that kind of response to your spend is what my experience for the most part has been with Facebook. I've had a little bit of success with the newsletter signups. Um, but for the most part, like getting interest, I see it. I see some brilliant moments and then, you know, for whatever reason, I change the ad spend in the middle probably or renewing it doesn't bring it up to its previous great performance, whatever it is. I always, and I don't see, I'm, I haven't found, I haven't experimented enough to find that routine that does well for me like you have yeah. and it'll probably change you know one day this might not work for you anymore oh you're i know have to try to you're gonna have to try to find another way to reach the same audience facebook's absolutely. changing shit all the time so absolutely well see yeah. but that's that's also a, an important point you make in that um this is why 
it's so important to focus on getting subscribers. Yes, you yeah. have to call them. Yes, you end up losing 50% of them at times and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it costs you a lot of money. But look, if, if you spent the money and you spent the time, and you just kept adding and adding and yeah. adding. And people were deleting and leaving and everything else. But you end up getting 20,000 of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Number one, you're going to have a hell of a nice launch for your one for your book with reviews sure. and, and the whole deal. Right. Um, number two, you have an instant audience. So even if this does die for whatever reason, you assuming your stuff doesn't suck, obviously, um, mm -hmm. you have an audience uh, yep. that can look at it. Now, after I called that, you know, a list or preened it, whatever you want to call it last week, um, I sent out a newsletter. Uh, to folks and I ended up with a 40 something percent open and mm -hmm. now remember here's something to think about a lot of people open but you don't know it how? because they have privacy settings in there uh, uh, you know how whenever you see the thing that says hey there's an image that's on this do you want to show yeah, it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right remember we talked about the pixel Yep. Same idea. The email so, has yeah. a pixel in it. It sends back to let the you know uh, thing Mail that's channel, all, or, right, yeah. and that that's also why you see like uh, this person opened it ten times. Mm -hmm. They didn't really open it ten times. They just you know when they went to this email and that email and so on, or they open their email app, it just yeah. it fires. Yeah. So if you have privacy settings set um, to not show remote content, mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't actually oh. uh, trigger okay. that, right? Okay. So that's why you would never want to uh, preen your list just on opens okay. because people, you want to make sure that it's opens and clicks mm -hmm. uh, because if people, they might be clicking um, and if they click, then you will know because it actually goes to MailChimp and then redirects to wherever yeah, sure. uh, sure. the thing is, which in my case is fun because it goes to MailChimp, redirects to me and then redirects to Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, oh. So Very I've nice. had... I've had 150 hits um, on the bundle since I changed it. 150 clicks today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since I wow. changed it, so and it for and and I, I wasn't using this um, uh, whatever it's called, uh, link uh, earlier. So I had changed it, uh, and I mean I reset this. I'm sorry, I reset this to zero so I could see what would happen because in the morning I had reset it to zero and I saw that um, I had like 15 clicks from three o'clock this morning until uh, afternoon. So these are clicks on the on the success page or are these clicks on the face on your Facebook ad? Which clicks are you talking about? The Facebook about? ad uh, that's okay. taken into the book bundle. Gotcha, okay. For the sale. Gotcha. Yeah, and so I've had 150 clicks since about one o'clock. Okay, that's um, more like it. Yeah, so that's five hours. That's 150 clicks. That's that's pretty amazing. Now in the U.S., yeah. it'll do as well, and I have a smaller spend going right there, but I have 14 clicks there right now, mm -hmm. and I actually just kind of kicked that one off about two hours ago, just because I wanted to see what happened. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, again, Good, man. to me, daily spend seems to be the better way to go. Um, yeah. It just sucks that you had to lose money to find out. Maybe we'll see. The day well, is young. Money. I know how you look at it. Even if I make money, I lost the profit that I yeah. would have had. Yeah, so, but just an experiment. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this yeah. is all learning. Um, yeah, you know. exactly. But I am I'm, definitely going back to uh, putting people back on my newsletter again. I'm uh -huh. going to be uh, investing heavily back into that cool. uh, because even though I know I'm going to lose probably 50% of them um, and you have to spend the money on that, with the Tripwire pages, it subsidizes it anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, seems to be, mm -hmm. um, and I'm also going to be doing the up virals so that I can hopefully you know, expand that even more. Yeah, it's a cool idea. It's yeah. a cool idea. Yeah, well, so I hope that, that we'll see how. Yeah, it works. I mean, I I have no time to do any of this, so uh, I have to wait to get off the audiobook train, but um, and finish my book. Yeah, that would be. I, 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 I finally started writing. Um, I am. Yeah, um, I've gotten uh, about twenty percent through the script at this point, and That's right. um, yeah, John does the script thing. Yeah, have we talked about that yet? Maybe we'll talk about that for an episode. Our process. Yeah, we did talk about it. We talked about oh, it. Okay. I basically just oh. say that you know I script the book. 
um, as like a movie script, and then that way, that way you can kind of have that dialogue. Because I'm also I got a co-author, so we go back yeah. and forth with it and, and have laughs and and so on. But we also, oh, would it be funny to put this? Oh, wait, that's a good idea. So yeah. it's kind of like what you're doing right now, um, mm -hmm. except it out loud. You're kind of going back and forth. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Cool. and it helps. And actually, uh, we did that um, with uh, Warped Conduit. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was really our first book that we did that with. Do we do it with Bob the Zombie? I don't remember. Anyway, I think it was Warped Conduit it was one that we really, really did it with. I mean, honed in on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so far, um, uh, the, at least from the launch team's perspective, uh, that's the best book that we've done. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that it will continue that trend, but you know, mm -hmm. we'll see. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. If, if you ever, um, if you get to the point where it's such a refined process and you're working on a book that you think is a lot of potential, you should record the process. It might be a lot of fun to see, um, you know, how you craft it. Yeah, we actually talked about that to, to see, because a lot of times we're just entertaining. There, we're just you get to laughing. see, yeah, yeah, you get to see the jokes get yeah, developed, yeah. how That's it cool. works, and everything else. And yeah. what's really funny is is that uh, some of the jokes that come up. Um, for us, like uh, in in uh, Starliner, we were just talking. We wasn't scripting at that point. That was a long time ago. But um, and we were just talking about it, and mm -hmm. both of us at the same moment saw the same funny concept, and we both just started laughing. Didn't say a word. Just started laughing, and then all of a sudden, I was just like, no, "What? What were you gonna say?" And he just said, <laughs> he's, and so he said the the thing, and and I was like, "Exactly what I was yeah. thinking." And, yeah. and um, it was cool. it was really funny, but I, I wouldn't want to actually. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing like some snippets of that. Yeah, right? yeah, like out, outtakes. Yeah, you know, outtakes, outtakes from the from the right. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, record three sessions or something. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Luck out, catch, capture some funny stuff. Right, uh, right. Good stuff Anyways. to share too. But yeah, yeah. so well, that'd be good stuff to share. You know, just to put, yeah. put out on Facebook or put in your newsletter and. Yeah, you know, fun stuff. Oh, uh, one more thing. Since since last yep. time we talked, um, mm -hmm. Warped Conduit passed the QA process, and it is heading to retail, and it's been heading to retail since last Saturday. So, oh great, uh, that means. But uh, okay, it, it will be um, an audio book available soon. So, all right, yeah, keep us posted. I'm excited now. I got to yeah. do. Uh, I got to do another one. Yeah, well, get some writing done. Yes, you too. Yeah. All right, we should it's go for it. All right. Thanks, man. Later. Bye, everyone. One.